The One Village, One Product, OVOP concept is a comprehensive Japanese approach to building the capacity of rural communities while identifying a product that originates within the community, represents its culture, and has the potential to generate economic activity for the community. The initiative aims to maximize the output of all aspects of small and micro producers by developing products and branding that meet the standards of local, regional and international markets. Project consultant of the OVA project, Kurt Harris, explains the project seeks to fill the gaps which exist in ensuring the successful marketing of local products. And what you find happening is that through agriculture, a lot of small and micro producers are able to sustain a livelihood. The challenge they have, however, is in their product development and sometimes in their product branding. Through the OVOP, what they are able to do is that since OVOP is a global community, that brand becomes recognizable. And persons recognize that there's a quality associated with OVOP from within as we develop the project, but also from outside of St. Lucia where other persons know of what OVOP is. So because agriculture really has a low um, entry point for many small and micro producers, you find that it is generally targeted as a way through which um, small and micro producers can enter into the livelihood and then help them to grow to be larger producers ultimately. Over the past several weeks, OVA project team members have been evaluating the project composition to ascertain whether the formulation would work locally. With the hosting of last week's criteria testing event, judges became acquainted with the criteria against which each product will be judged in order to meet OVOP requirements. Is that we have looked at Parley and we've recognized that CMOS seems to be one of the lifeblood project and products out of Parley. There are other products where we are testing CMOS. Um, in in Schwazel, we are testing the handicraft and in Sufer we are testing cocoa. So we are looking at what are the products that those persons are producing out of CMOS. And on the 14th of December, persons will be amazed to see some of the products that micro producers are actually producing out of CMOS in Praley. Mm -hmm. Similarly, in Schwazel, I mean, everybody knows that Schwazel has a lot of handicraft. What we are finding is that a lot of people don't really know what a lot of the craft out of Schwazel is. Most of them just simply know the clay pots, but there's so much that is coming out of Schwazel. And so the OVOP is seeking to promote a lot of what those producers are doing. While logistics for the official OVOP launch on December 14, 2021 are being finalized, the Ministry of Agriculture stands ready to assist individuals interested in strengthening their abilities and capacities in the agriculture sector throughout St. Lucia. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.